What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Manhood. Let's get straight into it. Men have already moved on and left the game for good. I'd rather be single than embarrassed. It's a lot of embarrassment going on, Facts. bitch. So in a few seconds, you realize why a lot of women are single. So when you look at yourself, what would you say you need to improve when you're dealing with the opposite gender? Okay, gen I almost bet all these women are like, I don't need to improve anything. I'm perfect the way I am. I'm going to go ahead and predict the future here. No. Nothing. Shit, sure, I don't think there's any flaws. I don't really have any Nothing flaws. To Do Stupid. I need to improve? Yes. Probably his timing. Well, your timing or his timing? His timing. What the no, no, fuck? It's about Stupid. you though. Oh, you you need, to, need to improve? Yeah, what do you need to improve? I don't know. You see how she jumped straight to you? <laughs> Man. Bro, you can't make this stuff up. What do you need to improve? His timing. Stupid. <laughs> what? Are now at a point to where they're walking away and they don't mind being alone. Y'all have messed it up. Women, a lot of us have messed it up. And like I said, even surprisingly to me, like, I was... <laughs> Big ass teeth. Just noticing and seeing so many men, like, I desire family. I desire commitment. I desire marriage. I desire to have a woman. I want to provide for a woman, take care of a family. Like, men have been wanting that. But now you're starting to see more and more men become more and more comfortable with the idea of not having any of that because men are valuing and desiring their peace mm -hmm. over everything else. She's preaching. The modern dating scene is a complete wasteland for men. It's practically non-existent now. It's brutal. Men have checked out for good. They're leaving without a second thought. Let's face it. Today's dating world offers men absolutely nothing. The horror stories are everywhere, and modern women's values regarding proper relationships and family are utterly worthless. The last time I checked, men were no longer interested in dating. There is no benefit for men to enjoy with modern women. All they need is Oh, the there is enjoyment to be had. <laughs> it's just not in relationships. <laughs> person sex. Wherever you go, you can be sure that the new woman you find is like the other one you have met. The shocking thing is that before men started leaving... Goodness gracious, ads. Um, yeah, I mean, most women are the same. There are some differences, but us men, we can still have fun with these women. Key word, fun, though. Just fun. These women were bold about it. They would tell to a man's face how unsatisfied they are in the relationship. One of my favorite movies. They compare the shit out of the men and beat down men's self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And even more, they are excellent and unremorseful Well, what cheaters. a lot of modern women do these days is they try to Frankenstein a man. Co-star, I need you right there, bro. They try to Frankenstein a man. They take qualities from this guy and then from this guy and then from this guy and they try to Frankenstein their actual man. This is why it's really detrimental for a woman to have a lot of partners, sexual partners. They go out there in comparison to the thief of joy. As Kevin Samuels would say, shout out to the Godfather, if you make the men of your present pay pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future, right? So if you go out there, ladies, and you're going through and getting all this trauma with these men, then you're going to try to Frankenstein this man later on because you're thinking, well, Mark had the good D and Joseph had money. And then Jason had this. And then like, you're never going to find that. You're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to make sacrifices. That's what we as adults do when we get into a relationship. But the thing is, <laughs> the more trauma you have and the more bodies you get, the higher your standards should should not get, but that's how it is. The higher your standards get as the more bodies you get because you, you think, oh, just because the chads are bucking me, this is the level of guy I qualify to date when that is not the case. Not the case at all. They don't give a damn when they are caught. And this is one of the reasons why men are done. What I have figured out is that if you stay and complain, it changes nothing. But if you keep quiet and leave, you will be taken seriously. This is exactly what is happening after men start going away for good. Realizations started hitting women, and many of them are doing what they can to keep the men who still think that you can find an angel among the corruption of modern women. 
noticed and a lot of females wonder why dudes don't try to holler at them anymore. It's not because you're ugly or anything like that. It's just that shit has become so difficult. Back in the day, the worst thing we had to worry about was getting rejected. Nowadays, we got to worry about getting screenshot, called thirsty, and the worst of them all, getting a video of us, getting rejected, put on the internet. The funny thing about the females who like to screenshot and call you thirsty is when a screenshot is coming from a text message conversation that y'all had. How thirsty can I possibly be if I already have your number? Y'all never feel- real. I already got your number. How thirsty can I actually be? <laughs> Well, mention that he's thirsty, but y'all always fail to mention how he got your number. The first reason why point. men went away for good is the way modern women reject men. It is a sport for them. Now, this is not because all these men are broke. I mean, uh, he's got a point. Nowadays, like, I, dude, I remember back in my day. Back in my day, when you'd shoot your shot, the worst thing a woman could say was no. And if she did say no, you just said, thank you, ma'am, on to the next. But nowadays... Yeah, like he said, you'll get screenshotted. She'll record you while you're doing it. She'll audio record you. And iPhone's about to come out with a new feature with iOS 18. Be on the lookout for this, guys, where you can record phone calls. So now if you're calling a girl, being a simp on the phone, she can record you and then shame you on TikTok. Watch what you say on them calls, buddy boy. This is why I don't like to text. Like when I was in the game, I didn't like to text a lot. I'd rather call. I'd rather like call somebody up because then you're putting a woman on your toes and it seems more confident. So like... This is this is this is some game I'm gonna put you guys on real quick. So if you just got a girl's number or whatever, like well, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Let's say you just met a girl, you're talking, whatever, you're cupcaking or kool aiding you're mixing it up, right? Get her IG first or get her Snapchat. Something that's like a low barrier of entry. Don't ask for her number. I never used to ask for girls' numbers, and I felt like it was easier to get in on an IG or a Snapchat. You still have the same access to them, right? You just don't have their phone number, which is cool. You can still fake, like you can still like video call a girl on IG. You can still text them on Snapchat and, and do that kind of stuff. So so do that. Do that first. Get to know them a little bit and eventually be like, hey, you know what? I'd rather just have your number, so just give me your number. Don't ask for a girl's number. Tell her to give you her number. There's a big difference. When you ask, like, hey, can I have your number? You're like, hey, can I please have your number? No. You say, hey, give me your number. But you should be comfortable enough with her and she should be comfortable enough with you at that time to say, hey, give me your number. I'm sick of using Snapchat or I'm sick of using IG. I don't check it enough. Give me your number. And then she'll give you her number. You got to kind of, like, demand it. If you don't demand it, she's not going to be like, oh, I want to give it to you. Never ask for a girl's number. Demand it right be assertive in that sense then once you do get her number don't even text her call her facetime her facetime is the ultimate flex if you can just straight up facetime a chick out of nowhere like bro you will you will ooze aura and confidence if you just like boom facetime her and then put her on the spot and just have your game on have your charisma in check and ready and be confident be right there and be witty be funny be quick to the point you do that a girl's gonna be like oh my god this guy is really about it he actually likes me number one but number two he's fearless and women like that Right. I'm going to come up with some ebooks and I'm going to call them the four pillars or four pillars of personality. I'm working on them right now. But one of them is going to be humor and then stoicism and then confidence and charisma. If you have those four as a mix, dude, oh, my God, the game is yours. It's so easy. If you're funny, you're confident, you have charisma and you are uh, stoic because like you got to have stoicism with these women. They're going to test you. We've we've as we've looked at in previous episodes, they're going to test you. You got to be able to just sit there and just watch it. Is that what you're going to do? All right, great. Um, more to touch on that ebook in a bit, but that, dude, that's putting you guys on serious game. Get the IG, get the Snapchat first. Then, once you have that, demand her number. Hey, give me your number and then FaceTime her immediately, bro. You will be oozing aura and confidence. For average men, they are doing good for themselves. But because these men are not earning six figures and not the height of NBA players. Gone are the days when women rejected men because they looked irresponsible and might not be the best option for her and the children. But now... Well, women nowadays would rather go get pregnant by an NBA player and then try to find a simp to be a stepdaddy. Women reject responsible men because they don't make 600 grand a year. Now, women go for rich men who don't seem to care about them. Yeah. If modern women got a chance, they'd reject their fathers if they were in their mama's place. They oh, disrespect sure. and reject men just for trying to talk to them like just asking for a name or maybe a number. The men who get tangled up in this mess the most are the ones modern women see as average. Every time a man who isn't their type approaches them, their first reaction is disrespect. This is what I find infuriating. The women who reject men are the best version of women. They are just a product of Hoflaten. Want to know why most good men remain single, myself included? It's because all of us have had times in our life where we're doing perfectly fine on our own we're financially set we're living life on our own we don't need anybody but they happen to come into our life make us feel like maybe this is the one time 
that she's gonna make me feel special. Bro, uh, never, never ever want a woman to make you feel special. Uh, ever. Say things like, you're a catch, you're my dream man, you're so this, you're so that, you're I can't believe I- You're run. <laughs> Skedaddle. Found you, I can't believe I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Only to do what? To push him out of your life and act like strangers. The same thing you were before you met. So why even bother me? Why even bother that man? Why? Because you're good for the moment, buddy boy. You're a good flavor for now, but not a flavor for later. And you got to be able to have that discernment to know. When a woman comes into your life and says, oh my God, how are you single? Like all these women should want you. Run. Run, 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 run. A woman that's doing that is trying to manipulate you. It's happened to me multiple times. Women try to manipulate me to get me into a relationship. Oh my God, you're so great. But the thing is, if she's smart enough and conniving enough to be able to do it with you, don't you think she's probably done it with another man? Stupid. You got to know better. Good men, like myself, it's not that we can't get a woman. It's because every time we try, we're shown exactly why we're better off alone. And instead, these women want to go after the guy that doesn't want them. And then they complain about why they're hurting and why he hurts them. A guy either wants you or he doesn't. There's no middle ground. You're not going to change a man's mind. You're not going to. All you're doing... So I say stop falling in love with the potential of a man and fall in love with who the man actually is. You do that, ladies, you'll be fine. But you can't change a Chad to be a simp and you can't turn a simp into a Chad. Is wasting your time. But if you want to do that, that's on you. In the meantime, if you have a good man in your life, hold on to him. Don't let him go, or you might regret it for the rest. <laughs> this reminds me of the girls that are like, if you have a good man, don't let him go. I don't know, man. Like this guy, shout out to him, you know, for, for, for preaching the gospel. But like at the same time, I don't like this mindset. To your life. Don't believe me? Fine. That's on you. I don't I don't like that mindset. It just seems weak to me. It seems beta. But I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that he's like on point with all that? Or do you think it seems a little... Let's give him a little beta. Left the chat the day it was discussed. A man could be going along just fine by himself. And a woman would step into his life and have him start from the beginning again. Well, this is why, dude, you got to be strong enough as a man to be able to set some ground rules with these women. Like a woman could come into your life and feed you all the things that you want to hear. You're the best man ever. How are you single? Oh my God, women should want you. And you could be like, yeah, they do want me. And you do too. And keep it pushing. Don't look for a woman to fill in the gaps of your life where you feel like you're insufficient. Because it's not going to happen. You got to fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. So stop trying to let a woman fulfill you and tell you the man that you are. You know the man that you are. If she wants to come in, you got to set ground rules from the jump. Set expectations. Hey, when expectations get uh, get set and then they don't get met, people get upset. Tell her that from the jump. And be like, hey, I'm not looking for a relationship. If you're looking for a relationship, I'm not the guy for you. You have to play this hierarchy of being a Chad. You have to. Because if you don't, then a woman's just going to be like, oh, I got him. On to the next. You always have to play that moral hierarchy where a woman is going to be shooting up and be hypergamous. Be like, hey, and, and remind them, hey. I would be fine tomorrow if you left. If we broke up, I would be good. It would take me an afternoon to get over it. Even though it might eat you up for two years. They say, and this is what I've heard, they say it takes about half the time you were together to get over a breakup. So if you're dating for two years, it would take you about a year to get over it. That's what they say, emotionally. But you need to always let them know, but I'd be fine without you. If I got back in the market, I'd be crushing. I'd be killing it. Women would be lined up for me. I'm a complete catch. But you say this stuff, you might not even mean it, but you say this stuff and a woman's like, damn, he's right. As opposed to, babe, I'm so glad I got you in my life. There's, I couldn't imagine, like, I wouldn't want any other woman and no other woman would want me. No other woman would love me like you. Don't say that stuff. That's simp energy. That's simpy. That's simpy long stocking. Stupid. That's Ren and Simpy. Don't do it. Shout out to anybody that knows Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> but that's Ren and, don't do that. Don't do that. You're playing the, they're playing the low card. Your value is much higher, higher than that as a guy. But the thing is, if you don't set where your value is, she's going to put you in a bucket, and you do not want to be in that scent bucket, dude. Women have repeatedly left men in a worse condition than when they met them, not only financially, 
but with an emotional scar from a woman he decided to make the happiest woman. While he was doing that, she was thinking about how to make him a homeless start-over pack. Men are leaving because these women don't think giving men the peace they need is important. One of the major needs of a man is peace and respect, but these women are not capable of giving it. They don't give an F about the man's needs. They are selfish and want to always be in a place where there is enough to take from and nothing to give. Men are done because the realization that they are not a non-profit entity has dawned on them. The ideas of modern women and their ways of life sound more like a parasitic relationship than partnership or sacrifice. For a living. I don't work. So what do you do during the day? Nothing. You don't want to work? No. <laughs> so you just live in my house. You don't want to work? No. I am. And we live with our mother. And you're proud of that? Was, well, well, we were living with him. And I was a stay-at-home mom. He made the income. But you can work now, right? I can, but... No, Wait a minute. But... So you're telling me that she's a single mom? You're a single mom. You said I would ask you. Make this stuff up this is why i say women grow old they never grow up like look at this bro this lady's talking about you can work now right yeah but why would i want to work bum but you can go get a job right i could but i'm not going to my rent's free my food is free my mom's the homeowner we don't have to pay nothing who covers health insurance i do what i'm going to do is give you credit actually bring your child support down down we yes slightly <laughs> she <It's> said down <laughs> still expensive $1,093. Damn! Month. That's it? Well, it would be more if you get a job. He would pay more if I got a job? No, it would be more for the child if you got a job. <laughs> How is a man <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. It'd be more for the baby. I just want more of his money. That's what I want. There was something in this previous part uh, men to take from. Okay, okay. Here, here's what I was going to say. So, fellas, I know this sucks. And this advice right here probably isn't what you want to hear, but it's a sad reality. You have to learn to play the dating game with these women. The dating game is absolutely brutal out there in these streets right now. She belongs to the streets. But you got to learn how to play it. Us as men, we're very logical, very black and white, yay or nay, yes or no, up, down, left, right. Like, we don't put a lot of stuff in the gray. Let me know in the comments. As a guy, do you put a lot of stuff in the gray area and like, I feel, I think, I feel? No. You ask a man what he feels... Or how he feels, he tells you what he thinks. You ask a woman what she thinks, she tells you how she feels. We're just different. We're wired differently biologically. Men are hunter-gatherers. Women are nurturers. That's just part of it, right? But a part of the game is knowing that you got to play the game. And it sucks these days, but you have to. So when women are going back and forth with you, you always have to remember, you have to remain like a moral high ground. And you have to have the hierarchy of, I don't care. I could lose you tomorrow. It doesn't matter to me. I am better off alone. As long as you keep that like level there, that level set, women will always be, once again, they're hypergamous. They're going to be shooting up. They're always going to say, man, he would be better without me, but I want to be with him because he would be better without me. It's a sick game that we have to play to make women understand that we are better and that we are better off alone because we are going our own way and we'd be fine without you. But you're there, so it makes life a little bit easier. But never, never really tell a woman how you really feel about anything. Only share your successes with a woman. I never share my failures with, uh, with Cass, ever. If something goes wrong, I don't, I don't tell anybody. I maybe talk to my homies, but at the end of the day, I just kind of internalize it and I figure it out for myself. Because the thing is, you tell a woman a lot of your insecurities. You tell her the things that you are maybe insecure about. You tell her the things that you know, you're worried about, she's going to take that and see you as weak and be like, well, you need to man up, which is not going to help you at all. Like, duh, I need to man up. I just want somebody to hear me out. Women do not want to hear you out. And they'll also take that and the things that are going wrong in your life. Or if you tell them bad things that you've done to be like, I want to get this off my chest. They'll take that, they'll hold on to it. And then they'll weaponize your insecurities later on. So you can't tell them if you need to tell somebody your sad, your sad things, either go get a therapist or have a really close homie that you can share your losses with and be like, hey, I took a huge L in this. How should I get over it? How should I get past it? A guy like consoling in a guy is going to be a lot better than consoling in a woman. A woman's going to take that and weaponize it in, in the future, which is why I never show my share my L's with Cass ever. I love her to pieces, but I'm never going to share that with her because she'll take it and weaponize it and use it against me.
It's just, it's in her nature to do it. She might not even be thinking about it, but it's in her nature to do that. And women, that's what they do. They test you. They go back and forth. So you have to play the game. And so playing the game is, I got to be a Chad. I got to be a dick. I got to be an asshole. I got to be super stoic. I got to be humorous, charismatic, confident, and stoic. And if you can have those four pillars of your personality, you'll be fine. Once again, ebook coming soon on those. Um, and you guys will be able to download them. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Do not forget to um, like comment subscribe become a member if you really buck with your boy i just updated all the channel membership icons i'm super hyped about that it's like the old halo 2 um levels i don't know i was super happy when i was like oh i can change them to the halo 2 ones i'm a nerd whatever uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i will see you guys tomorrow man peace